You've got mail. I've got my Misaku gardening knife. We gotta be really, really careful with this. Because I don't want to cut what's inside of it. Vintage Computer Festival SoCal. This is from Steve, the Vent Nerd. Thank you very much, sir. I already know what's in here. I think I think it's some um, t-shirts. But we're about to find out. I'm going to cut them. So I have to be very careful with this. Alright, let's see what we got. Let me sheath my knife. Check out this super cool stamp. I absolutely love it and I think we should get one too. Some vintage computer festival SoCal stickers. Got two of them. That's awesome. Oh, there's three. Three stickers. Wanted to find out. And here's, we've already got one of these cards. Let's see what we got here. So this is the Vintage Computer Festival, SoCal. This is so awesome. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for these shirts. They are so soft. <laughs> Let's see. Vintage Computer Festival, so SoCal. I keep wanting to say Southeast because that's where we're doing ours from in Atlanta. Let's see what the back looks like. So, Vintage Computer Festival SoCal, Orange, California, see, share, connect, first annual, the Vent Nerd, Atari Projects, PCB Way, Pathways to Invention, oh, that's pretty cool, some advertising on the back, so this one is more like a tie-dye one, kind of the same thing, but with a tie-dye effect on it, that's pretty cool, and let's see what's on the back. It's the same thing as the other one, but that's cool. Alright, so that's two t-shirts and an extra large Vintage Computer Festival SoCal. Thank you, Steve. We're going to put these in the wardrobe. This is a package that I ordered from Ray Carlson. And uh, if anybody knows anything about Ray Carlson, he makes awesome power supplies. And this is a custom order. Let me open it up here. This particular power supply is custom. And it has a power input that goes into the wall. And then it has three outputs to plug into three Commodore 64s. And, uh, I mean, this thing feels heavy, and it's just awesome. It's an awesome piece of device. And if you get a chance, you should try and get you one of these Ray Carlson power supplies, because he does really good work. And uh, so what we're going to do with this is, if you notice, I've got three monitors here set up. And uh, we're going to hook this up underneath our desk here. Okay, and so under here, this is uh, the engineering station, and uh, so what we'll do is um, we'll run in one of these cords over up through this hole, and uh, then we'll run one over here. And these cables are actually the perfect length. We got this one, and it's going to go into this Commodore 64 here. And then for this final one, let's run it under here, around the back. Just sort of boom. We're going to have a power cord over through here to this power strip. Boom. Two Commodores powered up. And let's see, can we get the power from the monitors? Let's go, boys! Uh oh. Yes, it is working. Two commodores are going. Right. 
So now for the third one. And then finally, the final ordeal. We're going to have to plug in. Hey, we have three Commodores running off of that one power supply. Our current Ray Carlson power supply for our other machines. This one is also custom. It can power a Commodore 64 or a Commodore 128. I don't know if it can do it at the same time, but uh, this re the requirement was to add both of those leads onto the same power supply. So thank you Ray Carlson for you know making that custom controller power supply for me. City man. Let's go ahead and open the last package. This package is from David Ude. Let's see what's in here. Uh oh. This looks like the Trick Shoot 10 game that was made by Jim Happel. Are you up to the Happel Games Challenge trademark? And uh, you saw this on Robin's channel. He did a little uh, in depth thing about it. But uh, I really do appreciate this, David. And so let's take this uh, out of the package here. So we can take a look at it. All right, what do we got in here? <laughs> and this is for this is for a game that Jim did that was a ten line basic competition. And uh, so David took the game and uh, he made this little package for it and he put it into a cartridge form. Trick shoot ten, and it's got some action figures with it. <laughs> this is great. And so I noticed that on the back of here, it's got a number eight slash twenty five. And if that is the eighth cartridge made out of twenty five only made ever made, I feel very privileged to have this cartridge. I could possibly maybe get on the shoot ten pro club. Let's see if it works. Uh. Okay, a little bit of a trick getting it in there. Alright, so let's see. Boom. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. What do we do here? We hold down the space bar. I scored. Okay, did it break? Oh, there's pause in it as well. Okay. That seems to be working pretty good. And uh, what really bugs me is the this camera that I have, it says it's going at uh, 60 frames per second, but you're still seeing these lines in there. This is pretty great for a, a 10 line program. Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> Game over. So there it is. Thanks, David Ude and Jim Happel. Appreciate your, you know, sending me this cartridge. It's pretty awesome. And uh, so there it is. That is the setup for our engineering console. I'm gonna load in. I'm gonna load in the sounds. All right. So. This one has a specialized program on it. It's going to say incoming transmission. And this guy, it's going to be kind of a little weird to see. Let's see if I can't navigate this. I may need to. We'll play the Let's Find Love.
you'd like to have your email read in a future mailbag video, send us an email to mailbag at citizen.net. Thanks for watching. City Man. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new programming series. And be sure to check out all the other vintage computer related videos on our channel. Right here on City Zen. Report my citizen for a different